Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings of peace, mercy and blessings, young mathematicians. Malampuson ug maayong adlaw kaninyong mga bata. Ako ang pagtahod kaninyong tanan. Isang matagumpay na pagpapalang muli sa inyong mga kamatini. Ako si Sir Mark mula sa Mindanao. Ako naman si Ma'am Melo mula sa Visayas. Mula naman sa Luzon, ako si Maestro Ulaso. At, At kami, kami ang, ang Matrio. Sama-sama tayo matuto. Hi kids! I'm your resident math wizard, Sir Mark. Journey with me as we make our mark on the mathematical world of mathematics by helping people solve math problems. Mathabra Kadabra. Oh! I'm very sorry, kids. I forgot to tell you that before we can take flight, we need to answer a few questions. Are you ready? Let's do Matanong! Find the exponential form of the following. Number 1. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Number 2. 9 times 9 times 9. Number 3. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Let's check your answers. For number 1, the answer is 2 raised to the 4th power. It is 9 cubed for number 2. And the answer for number 3 is 10 raised to the 5th power. The expressions 2 raised to the 4th power, 9 cubed, and 10 raised to the 5th power are called exponential notations or exponential form. The numbers 2, 9, and 10 are called the base, and the numbers 4, 3, and 5 are called the exponent. The exponent tells us how many times the base is used as a factor. Because you did well in our math tanong, you will be given a reward. You are now allowed to open this math trivia box where you will discover interesting facts relating to mathematics. One, two, three. Open Sesame! As mentioned at www.mathematica.pt, Archimedes was the Greek philosopher and mathematician who supposedly made the first attempt to use scientific notation number. By the 3rd century BC, he needed to use them when he made an estimate to calculate the necessary number of sand grains to fill the universe. The number he estimated corresponded to 1 times 10 raised to the 63rd grains. Wow! Isn't that amazing? That's why we should be thankful to Archimedes for introducing the concept of scientific notation. This is used when we want to express very big numbers or very small numbers. Now, are you ready? Let's matlakbay! Sabra. We are now here at the Good People's Park, Poblacion Tubud, Lano del Norte, to help Aling Rema solve her math problem. Aling Rema, what's the problem? My daughter asked me about her savings. According to her, she wants to continue the savings pattern she has been using as her guide. But I don't have any idea of what she's talking about. Don't you worry, Aling Rema. We have here Maestro Lasso to help you with your problem. Thank you, Sir Mark. Yes, we are here for you, Aling Rema. We the math trio are ready to solve whatever problem you have. Aling Rema's problem is related to the concept of exponents. So kids, 
Listen very carefully because in today's episode, we will help Aling Rema and you will learn about giving the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation. Brace yourselves. Let's do Mastalakai! Rian is Aling Rema's daughter. Rian saved 2 pesos on Monday, 4 pesos on Tuesday, 8 pesos on Wednesday, and 16 pesos on Thursday. If the pattern continues, how much will she save on Friday? We have the amounts that she saved from Monday to Thursday, and we need to find the amount she will be saving on Friday by following the pattern. Now, if we are going to rename the amount using exponential notation, we will have the following. 2 raised to the first power for Monday, 2 squared for Tuesday, 2 cubed for Wednesday, and 2 raised to the fourth power on Thursday. Do you already see the pattern? Based on this pattern, what will the next exponential notation B for Friday. If your answer is 2 raised to the 5th power, you are correct! So, what is the amount that Rian will save on Friday? If your answer is 32 pesos, you are correct again! How did we get 32 pesos? In the exponential notation 2 raised to the 5th power, the number 2 is called the base, and the number 5 is called the exponent. As discussed in the last episode, the exponent tells us how many times the base is used as a factor. Therefore, in the expression 2 raised to the 5th power, the exponent 5 tells us that the base 2 is used as factor 5 times. So, we can say that 2 raised to the 5th power is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 32. So, Aling Rema, the answer to your daughter's problem is that Rian should save 32 pesos on Friday to continue the pattern. Thank you, Maestro and Sir Mark. Thank you, kids. Now, let's proceed to our next activity. What is the sum of 2 raised to the nth power plus 3 raised to the nth power if n is equal to 3? Since the value of n in the expression is 3 or n is equal to 3, substitute 3 for n, which is the exponent of both 2 and 3. We have now 2 cubed plus 3 cubed. Write the expanded form of 2 cubed and 3 cubed. 2 cubed is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 and 3 cubed is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. Now, get the value of each expression by using repeated multiplication. 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8, while 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. Then, find the sum. The sum is 35. Now, Mam Melo will discuss the next activity. Go, Mam Melo! Yes! Thank you, Maestro! Now, if you have really understood how to give the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation, this activity should be easy for you. If the value of n is 5, find the difference of n cubed minus 2 raised to the n power. Are you ready to solve for the answer? Let's do it step by step. Since the value of n in the expression is 5, or n is equal to 5, substitute 5 for n. We now have 5 cubed minus 2 raised to the 5th power. Write the expanded form of 5 cubed and 2 raised to the 5th power. 5 cubed is equal to 5. 
times 5 times 5 and 2 raised to the 5th power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now, get the value of each expression by using repeated multiplication. 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125. Well, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 32. Then, find the difference. The answer is 93. I hope you arrive at the same answer. To check if you really learned from our examples, get ready and say, Ma try nga! If you get the correct answer in today's activity, you will be given a Matt Wizard badge. Are you ready? Great! Maestro Olaso, it's your turn! Yes, Mom Melo. We will call this activity as Problemato! Again, do your best in answering the activity to get your Matt Wizard badge. Here is the problem. What is the value of the expression h cubed minus g squared if h is equal to 6 and g is equal to 3? Once again, let us call our math buddy, Mateo! Hi, Maestro! Hi, kids! Hi, Mateo! Mateo, can you show our Kamathenik your answer for this problem? Here, Maestro! My answer is 207. Wow, Mateo, you got it. Can you show our Kamathenik how you got your answer? Sure, Maestro. I just followed the steps that you taught us. Since the value of H is 6 and the value of G is 3, I just substituted the values given for H and G in the expression. So, it becomes 6 cubed minus 3 squared. Then, I wrote the expanded form of 6 cubed and 3 squared. 6 cubed is equal to 6 times 6 times 6. And 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3. Now, I get the value of each expression by using repeated multiplication. 6 times 6 times 6 is equal to 216, while 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Then, 216 minus 9 is equal to 207. You're so good, Mateo! Mateo just shared the steps to find the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation. I hope you got the same solution as Mateo. Mamelo, it's your turn! It seems that you already understood how to find the value of numbers expressed in exponential notation. Because of that, I expect that all the things you learned today would be matatandaan! The exponential form is a way of representing repeated multiplication. It has a base and an exponent. It is known as exponential expression or exponential notation. The base is the repeated factor the exponent tells us how many times the base is used as a factor. This time, let's have our final activity. Again, brace yourselves. It's Mathematics time! Solve the following problems. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. In the equation, 12 squared is equal to n. What is the value of n? A, 24, B, 
64, C, 134, D, 144. Number 2. What is the volume 8 cubed? A, 24, B, 83, C, 64, D, 512. Number 3. 9 squared is the exponent form of what number? A, 2, B, 9, C, 18, D, 81. Number 4. What is the volume of N in the given pattern? 3 squared is equal to 9. 3 cubed is equal to 27 up to 3 raised to the 5th power is equal to N. A, 81. B, 54. C, 243. D, 729. Number 5. Which of the following is the correct pair of an exponential notation and its volume? Letter A. 6 squared is equal to 12. Letter B. 7 squared is equal to 49. Letter C. 8 squared is equal to 16. Letter D. 9 squared is equal to 18. Let's check your answers. Number 1. 12 squared is equal to 144. So the answer is letter D. Number 2. 8 cubed is equal to 512. So the answer is letter D. Number 3. 9 squared is equal to 81. So the answer is letter D. Number 4. 3 raised to the 5th power is 243. So the answer is letter C. And number 5. The correct pair is letter B. 7 squared is equal to 49. How many of you got a score of 4? How about 5? Great! To those who got 3 below, don't you worry because you can review your self-learning module and can still watch the replay on YouTube channel DepEd TV Official. Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Hinaot nga nakakatun mo sa atong pagtulunan. Thank you and see you next time. Wasalam! Mula dito sa Luzon. Kasama ang Visayas. At syempre, hanggang dito sa Mindanao. Pilipinas. Kami ang inyong math trio na nag-iiwan ng katagang ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging math sa math